and nobody talks about these things that as a 14 year old you need more confidence you need more courage you need to feel good about who you are no one talks about it in school and family and i think meditation becomes such a savior Hello everyone. I'm sitting with Shreya in New York. How are you, Shreya? I'm good. <laughs> so I have known you, Shreya, for more than ten years, right? I was in. I think I was 22 or so when I first met you. You were a little girl then. Uh, now you. How old are you? I'm um, 14. 14. And what grade are you in now? Um, I'm in ninth grade. Ninth grade. Do you like to study? Do you like school? Mostly. <laughs> Mostly, what what part of school you don't like? Well, I like school. It's just when I you know try to study at home, I just end up procrastinating right. and then not studying. Not studying, but which I'm is like, fine. I'm trying to you know and, stop that. <laughs> and you know one thing that has surprised me about you, when I first saw you, you were like any other four year old, right? Like how four year olds are. You know, they cry, they laugh, they stay with their parents, and now you're growing up. You are, you know, finding your talents. You know what you like. You know what you don't like. But there's one thing that has surprised me, and one thing that I really, you know, admire in you, and it also reminds me of my childhood a lot. That's your spiritual part. Uh, that's what I'm very, very curious about. Like how. Do you remember, was there like one moment when you started to experience that there is something called spirituality or meditation or healing or was there like one moment that made you realize that something else exists beyond this like beyond how we all live our lives? Well, so I started coming to meditation around like maybe like three years ago right at first i just did it like every sunday like i didn't like really do it at home okay but like i liked coming because i felt good afterwards right so um i guess maybe next like a year after i started like like really getting into it and i wanted to get further into it <coughs> and um then i started um learning um, and doing it at home right and I and I listened to like you know what um, the lessons Guruji's tell us hmm. and yeah <laughs> so when you say Guruji that's Chamunda Swamiji right yeah so he calls you his best friend yeah. do you also think he's your best friend or do you think he has many best friends <laughs> I honestly think he is my best friend. <laughs> That's true, you know, because I know whenever he talks about you, he genuinely means that that you are his, you know, best friend and he always like you know how he's like so fond of you. And when I told him we are going to be talking, he was so happy. Mm -hmm. Uh so you mentioned something very interesting. You said I used to feel good after I would meditate. What does good mean to you? Was it like I don't know, relaxation? Was it more confidence? Was it less anxiety? Um, for sure I had less anxiety. I know that I used to like overthink of like the most random things. Ever. Right. So when I did it, like I felt like relaxed afterwards mm -hmm. and you know, I was like, I, I guess I felt more yeah. calm. calm. Definitely, I wanted more confidence too. Right. I know. I in like school, I used to like never like raise my hand right. because you know, I was too scared. Right. But I wanted to, but I don't know. I was just too shy, and I always used to like speak, you know, like quietly. Mm -hmm. And I still kind of do now, but I'm working on it. Right. Um. But like now I'm like learning to like try and be and speak more confident. And nobody talks about these things that as a 14 year old you need more confidence, you need more courage, you need to feel good about who you are. No one talks about it in school, in family and I think meditation becomes such a 
savior you know it mm-hmm. i have seen change in your confidence in your energy like you are the star in every meditation gatherings you know guruji always tells you to sit and lead the the mudras and everything i'm going to ask you to show to everyone also how you know to do those mudras so meditation is one aspect of you know your spirituality and another aspect that blew my mind was the healing stuff so there's so many stories i know we can talk about i'm going to pick two i think and unless you want to share anything more one of them is what i think was your first official entry into the healing world when your finger was stuck in the door and second is the most recent when you were in hospital but let's talk about the first one um i got to know about it a few hours ago and i i remember i was here in new york and i have a very vague memory of it because it was 10 years ago i think what happened that day so um we were about to leave um, the healing center right yeah okay and the puja just finished and so i i get so as we you know start to leave i guess i was you know putting on my jacket or getting mm-hmm. something and my finger was like in the door yeah and it was oh like God. a really heavy door and right. so i think my brother a- actually accidentally closed it all right so we know <laughs> who to blame got it <laughs> yeah and so then i remember i was just like crying and like screaming so hard and then everyone was telling me that's going to be okay and i remember that my mom was like saying like we have to take her to the hospital to emergency right yeah, yeah. and i was saying no i want to go to guruji <laughs> <laughs> and then my mom like kept like you know she wanted to bring me to the hospital but i kept refusing right and, and you were 4 year old that's what like you know blows my mind as a 4 year old you were like i don't want to go hospital i want to go to guruji um I mean not going to hospital like understand it's scary right but going to guruji that's a different thing you know i think energetically you must have felt something uh that's why because that's how i used to react all the time in my childhood that i would always pick spirituality over everything else because something in me would tell me this is right this feels right uh and then you met uh then they uh, took you to guruji right yes okay i i remember it was like late at night and i okay. like i sat on his lap and yeah. he like a santa claus thing right <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and i don't really remember what happened yeah um uh, but uh the pain was gone that yeah. i know yeah the next day i was completely fine. fine right what my memory of that day is um that the pain was gone next day and i was very surprised and i kept on asking your mom so when are you going to take shreya to hospital and she said no she she's not in pain and you forgot about the pain uh, after a few days like you mm-hmm. because it it became like you know it was all normal and somewhere i feel that kind of unconsciously or consciously your you know soul your energy kind of felt okay this this looks interesting and i think energetically also you were kind of pulled into the spiritual world because every year that i i saw you every other month when i would see you you would more you were more present in the spiritual gatherings but you were still very young 6 7 from that day until today you have gone through so many uh, spiritual experiences and you know when i got uh, I, i was very happy when i when i would come to new york and i'm here on sunday you know meditations and you were there on the sunday meditations and when first time guruji asked you shreya can you show everyone how to do this how to do that mantra or how to do the mudra i uh, was like he's telling shreya because that was my first like i i didn't know you you became one of the meditation you know experts uh, in his circle and and very soon after that you were pretty much on the stage with him always telling people how to do the mudra you know last time when we were having the guru purnima my event you were on the stage with him and you all were chanting mantras and you had the mic in your hand and you know, he wanted the mic from you because he wanted to say something you were holding on to the mics so strongly and you were chanting the mantra so loud he couldn't take the mic away from you you don't know about it because you were fully into it so from meditation to healing can you talk about the recent uh, experience you were in hospital and you came out and you were not feeling good and then you did self healing yeah yeah so around like 4 weeks ago mm-hmm. um i woke up with 
terrible stomach pain. Um, so um, then I went to the hospital to get it checked out. And actually the hospital wouldn't accept me because um, they only accepted adults. They didn't accept um, patriotics. Oh wow. So it, and I couldn't go till like 6 p.m. because my patriotic doctor wasn't available. My God. Yeah. So I waited till like 6 p.m. and we had to go all the way to Valley Stream, which is like 30 minutes away it from is, my yeah. house. And so then we went to urgent care, mm -hmm. and um, the doctor was like feeling my stomach and asking where it hurt. Well, what was okay. happening? So he said that I might have a possibility of having appendicitis. Oh goodness, my God. So um, he said that I had to go to the ER like immediately to get a CAT scan done. Mm -hmm. So when I went to um, the ER, um, I was so dehydrated, like I kept throwing up. I threw up like probably like 10 times. Um, I couldn't- That's four weeks ago? Yeah. Wow. And I couldn't drink I couldn't even drink water or else I would throw it back up. So I was really dehydrated that uh -huh. I even had like a blood clot. And that's crazy. Yeah. And, and so I finally got my CAT scan on after like two hours. And they said that I do have it. So then I got transported to um, a children's hospital. And they did the surgery on me. and. Um, after the operation, they said that it, my, my appendix had bursted. Oh my god. And so then I was in the hospital for like four days. And um, I actually had a pretty fast recovery. Like even one of the nurses was like pretty shocked because right. um, the first day I could barely walk. But then the second day I was like walking so well. And the nurses was like, this nurse that was saying that like, wow, you, you, um. You're recovering faster than others, right? Yeah. I saw a picture of you, you were in the hospital, but you were smiling. Yeah. Were you sleeping and smiling? I'm not sure to be honest. <laughs> right, you were smiling. And I, I, I saw two pictures. One of the picture was not good. You know, you were in the bed and there were like, in, you know, uh, I think IV drops, something like there were a lot of stuff around you did not. I was like, I got scared that what happened, is, is she okay? And next day, like not even like a few days later, next day I got a picture when you were smiling. <laughs> so I was like, this is solid, this looks good. And then you came home after a few days, I think. And then uh, I think then you started having problems in stomach, right? Yeah, I started having um, some stomach problems. Okay. And so then I went to the hospital again. Okay. To, so the so they could like to like they could make sure that I don't have any infection or anything. Thankfully, I didn't. Um, but then after the following um, meditation class, um, uh, Guruji taught us this um, mantra. Okay. And so then I did it, and then as soon as I got home, like I felt so much better and. I basically healed myself. Right. And, yeah, now I'm good. <laughs> and that problem which was happening, it completely stopped after that, right? Like after you you did the self healing. Um, I, um, mostly. Mostly. Yeah, it happened once, like right. like I started. I had diarrhea. Okay. And, and from I, being very bad and intense, it got eighty or ninety percent healed after you started doing yeah. the navel chakra healing the navel yeah. center healing right like it was like 95 percent you know i would have been so surprised if i would have heard about this about anyone but i've been watching your journey and i feel from meditation to mantras to healing you have come a long way and the funny thing is no one is forcing you to do all of this no one is like you know behind you that you got to do this and that you should be doing the mantra in fact your family is surprised and they're like telling you to calm down you're only 14 I'm, I've gone through all of this by the way like in my family they would all tell me you are just you know like 14 you're only 10 why are you doing all of this but Guruji you know always uh, encouraged me and uh, always pushed me to meditate and he never I know the things he has done with me he's you know making you go through the same because he never told me 
you should be like uh, sitting and calling me and getting mad if I'm not sitting. He, you know, he would teach me, and then he doesn't push me after that. And one thing that started to happen as a result, I started enjoying it on my own, uh, I, because there was no pressure, and I started, you know, feeling the joy in it. And as you said, the confidence, the clarity, the confusion, they all start to, you know, like align in their own way. Uh, before uh, we wrap up the video, I know people who are listening, they would want to know some of the, your secret mantras or secret healings you do. And I know we cannot share all the mantras, but do you think maybe you can share one of the mantras that brings you to, to a centered, you know, awareness, anything? Um, the Vamroom is a really Vam good room. a mantra. Yeah. And it basically. How do you do it? Do you silently do it, or do you loudly do it? Uh, both, both. But I'm I'm pretty sure that like it's more like effective and powerful if you say it inside mm -hmm. your mind. So yeah, you just chant that for like maybe like five minutes, five right. to six minutes. Is that the case? Do you think you're, you have become much more clear in your... I mean, it's only you're only 14, so I don't even know if you, I should ask you about the goals and everything, but it seems like you are very relaxed in who you are now. I actually, like, I, I haven't actually realized that. Right, I realized <laughs> it because, you know, so I'll say it on camera, when I was, when I first, you know, met her, she was four and I was, uh, it's like 22 or something right and you you were like who's he and you know your mom said he's Guruji's son and you started doing this <laughs> that I'm watching you you're Guruji's son so I'll make sure you don't do anything crazy you know I'm watching you so for many months you that's how you always like would say and I was like you know I, I was kind of scared scared I was like you know she's always watching me I should like really watch my actions and then I started seeing a very different energy in you like you became uh, quieter, calmer, you become calm, you become relaxed and you don't have to constantly seek validation from others. It becomes kind of like you approve yourself. That's the, that's what it becomes, right? Nice. Uh, thank you, Shreya. Uh, if you have any questions for Shreya, you know, write it down in the comments and we'll make sure we ask her all the questions and uh, she'll answer maybe if you want Shreya back on, on the channel let us know and we will read the questions and Shreya will answer it all right deal mm -hmm. okay thank you Shreya